Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Knights of the Fallen Empire, episode 12. So last time we found the Lady of Sorrows who turned out to be Scorpio from the Imperial Agent class story. He is, she is, he is? She is one of the companions of the Imperial Agent. And the reason why she's helping us is because apparently she has something of Arkans. Will we ever find out what? Maybe, maybe. But when we turned to Arkan, we found out that he had a droid of similar qualities of Scorpio. So how that's going to work out, hmm, I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Chapter 8, Taking Flight. Yay! Wow. You almost fried the power core, Fat Fingers! That's Captain Fat Fingers. You do this vessel a disservice with your primitive hands. Give me full access. I will enhance the gravestone's current parameters. Don't ask us to take your word for it. We need details. I do not have time for technical primers. Neither do we. Keep your shiny metal mitts to yourself. If we're about to say tits, then. Focus on the hyperdrive first. Acceptable. For now. Statement. Ready to vaporize? Your lack of intelligence is insulting. Let's give them space. That bridge can only hold so many personalities. I'm used <laughs> to it. I imagine so, given your previous companions. Scorpio worked with Imperial Intelligence in the past, but now she operates independently. Thoughts? She's probably listening to our conversation. Lovely. Not that we have any privacy, considering who's inside your head. There is some good news. I've received word from my agents on Coruscant and Dromund Kars. Certain elements of each government are willing to discuss an alliance, to unite their forces against the Eternal Throne. We can only defeat Arkan by working together. We've a as long much as he hates ahead, the Republic. But at least they're talking. Your presence is requested. Come along. Charmer, that one. Senya knows how to pick them. Be careful. We need the Scions, but Zealots are unpredictable by nature. Heskel thinks he understands the ways of the Force better than anyone. It will be his undoing. We'll see. One hour. If I don't hear from you, I'll rip that sanctuary apart. I don't doubt it. T7 escort you to Cyan Hideout. T7 exploring asylum. Oh, thanks, T7. Right oh. Oh, and we've got some dark side points and some influence of all of these characters. And some credits. Lovely. Thank you very much. And let's take a look at people's influence anyway. How are we doing? We are not doing too badly. You know, Koth is level 5. Surprised Koth is higher than Lana. You know, that's quite surprising. Scorpio is, you know, still early on. But no doubt we'll have her as a companion, which is weird. It's weird to have Scorpio as a companion. Uh, Senya is 5 as well. Not too bad. Not too bad. See, now, my small gripe with this, right... Is that Darth Ma is supposedly dead? We saw him die, and then he became a Force apparition. So why is he still here? That's got me intrigued. Really has. Maybe I, I get he's a contact, but does that mean we get to contact him from the dead? I don't know. <laughs> just it just seems interesting to me. Anyway, let's make our way to the Scion. No traffic coming through lately. This used to be a quiet station. No, it didn't. But you could at least hear when a good fight broke out. Those were the days. Scion hideout! Hesco, I'm here. What do you want? That's a cool door.
You wanted to meet. Oh. Alrighty then. Let's go. Uh oh crap. Oh. Well I did say to get out of your throne room. <laughs> I don't lead so cool for just anyone. Be honored. You followed me. I was invited. Heskel arranged all of this. The fool. If you wanted a fight, we wouldn't be talking. I have the imagination to see many solutions to a dilemma. Unlike your friend. Signs have always worshipped at the false altar of fate. That is why I kill them. I am beyond prophecy. I forge my own destiny by making the hard choices. Now it's your turn. You want to make a deal? I'm not without mercy. Surrender. You will be returned to Carbonite until I find a way to rid you of my father. And the others? Lana and Koth? Free to leave. Without the gravestone, of course. It belongs to the Eternal Throne. You understand? Fear the snake who believes himself a dragon. My son will betray you. Think I don't know that? I'm a busy man. Don't make me wait. Be great if I could actually do it. Wait, really? I accept your terms up? I could actually do it? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna lie. I want to avoid further bloodshed and regain my freedom. I'll tell my followers to stand down. With your permission. Certainly. I don't think he buys it for one second. Lana, it's me. That was fast. Arkans here. Defend the ship. Idiot. Um. <laughs> don't think we'd be fighting Arkans so soon. Well, no doubt he's going to be easy to kill with a heroic moment. And he's, um, you know. It'd be nice if he was a champion. That would have made the fight a little bit more difficult. You leave me no choice. No choice of what? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, he's a oh oh bloody hell! He's at five thousand five hundred thousand health, so he's a little bit more powerful then. Even though he's only an elite. All right, that's fair enough. A slight challenge for once. Oh oh, move out, move out. To do what? I can't believe he fell for that. He really thought I was going to surrender. Seriously? Come on now. I wonder what would happen if I had surrendered. Maybe on one of my weak Republic characters, I'll actually do that. Maybe. But I, be I bet you any money, the others would stop me doing it anyway. You know? Speak with Arkham. How are you able to do that with a robotic arm? Do you have any, do you even have any force in that arm? Alright. Oh dear. You need to get that ship away now! Hey! Shiny! Do us all a favor and get those cannons firing, would ya? This vessel's targeting algorithms were inferior. I'm upgrading them. That is not a priority right now! Improvement is always a priority. Activating firing pattern. Have faith in Scorpio, man! Some good shooting. Uh, didn't I just go down near the Scion's hideout? Someone better check up on our Outlander. Oh dear. Let's 
Good distraction. Get out of there! Tell me you're alive. Stop boring me! <laughs> alive, yes. Intact, mostly. The gravestone is under siege, but we're not leaving without you. Oh, that's nice. Uh... Mom away, you on your own. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of want to feel like a hero, but you kind of need people, really. Hold tight. I'm coming. Explosion is large. T7 is worried. Gravestone is in danger. T7 and Sith Lord must help. I'm going. I'm going. Give me a chance. I'm getting there. I wonder if I could just quick travel back. Oh, no. I can't. Damn it. Uh oh, there's some sky troopers. Don't mind me. Just gonna force camouflage my way through. Thank you. Uh uh, go, 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 go. Phew. Ah, oh, damn it. Almost thought I got away with it then. Right, we're nearly at the end. Can I just do this? Oh, oh, I nearly thought I wasn't gonna do that then. I thought it had just about seen me. Hello. The Outlander. Take him alive. I'm sure Arkham would kill you if you took me dead. So, you know. Wait, you had to do a cutscene for people who are pretty easy to kill. Unless you're trying to. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't mean to do that one. Well, I did, but I didn't. I completely forgot that I did that. Um, I assume they're gonna have some importance. Well, okay, yeah, you're a little bit more powerful. That's fine. Don't mind me, just gonna jump towards you. Oh, can I? No, I can't do that. I miss that! I really miss my ability of being able to jump at close quarters. It's so annoying! Why? Your carbonite tomb awaits! No, it doesn't! A new thread weaves through fate's tapestry. As I foresaw. Then Arkan told the truth. You did bring him here. It was necessary. You will see. The Scions remain your allies. Each of them will return to you when it is their time to die. None of this was necessary. Asylum's people are dying because of you. Thousands weighed against trillions. They perish. So the galaxy survives. I have no regrets. I have seen the future. It is glorious. If you know how this ends, tell me while you still can. Damn it! Define glorious, anyway. I know what the word glorious means, but you know. In terms of what's gonna happen. No one. Is it glorious for me? Is you it glorious for Arkin? Just how to brighten my day. Hey, Valen. This is gonna be a fun assault. Uh, escape to the gravestone. That's what we were doing anyway. Should have gone to Dantooine. You and me both. There's a freighter headed for some place called Hutta. Wait, what? What are we? Are you saying that my place is gonna go to Huddle or just just a freighter? All right, that's fine. I guess it's just just a freighter. And force camouflage and rocket boost at the same time. Bye, Night of cool. Uh oh. Hello, Night of cool. Ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. Damn it. Uh, right. Is there anyone around that could attack me? Yes. 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 No. 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 No force camouflage and rocket boost again. Go past them. 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 Damn it. They've sold me. I know I'm trying to skip a lot of the fights, but after a while, just attacking sky troopers after sky troopers after sky troopers, it gets a little boring. Which is why I just try and get I just want to get past them as fast as possible, but obviously that can't always be possible. It's like these guys. I'd rather wait for my force camouflage to come back than actually attack them. You know? That's how bored I am of attacking sky troopers, but you know.
We have problems. Tell me the hyperdrive isn't one. Scorpio fixed it, but Arkans forces locked the docking clamps. We're grounded. We can't abandon the Gravestone. That fleet will tear us to shreds. Karth and HK are en route to the control spa, but they need help. Don't worry, the Gravestone's in good hands. Go get our captain, Blondie. Don't know if I trust you with it. I meant Miss Benico. <laughs> Are we going back inside then? Alright. You weren't very nice to my brother. I know, I'm sorry. Now? We have to kill your friends. Arkin was just a warm-up. You've got a crush on me. What? <laughs> Say hello to your mother. What? What? Go. This is a family matter. Alrighty. You don't have to throw me across the room. Could have just pushed me a little bit. Phelan. Hello, mother. Koth and HK need us. Let's go. Alright, we will go. Meet with Koth. Better, better not be too far away. I've got to go all the way back to where I just was. Damn it. Force camouflage. Love it. And rocket boost to get past these guys. Eh, sort of did. Damn it, I am an idiot. I just gave myself an experience boost. And I can't even gain experience. <sighs> I am silly. Seriously. Ah, some citizens. Does that mean we're safe now? Hopefully. Right, where's Koth? He's up in the elevator. Of course he is. Couldn't just be right in front of me. Wait, I thought we were safe. There were citizens downstairs. There's people up here as well. Ah. Well, well, don't say two things at once. Very rude. Woo, I managed to get past two groups of enemies there. I think that's a record in Knights of Fallen Empire anyway. You know, I've realized something. We haven't seen Theron Shan in this expansion. I miss that guy. I really hope he turns up sooner or later. It'd be nice. It'd be very nice, but I fear he might not. Ah, oh, well. May maybe in future chapters, perhaps. But... I'll clean up behind you. Right, thanks. Appreciate it. Take your time. Oh, oh well. Yep, don't mind me. Well, oh, now I'll actually speed up now. All right. Oh, who are you? Come on, boys. There's a whole, there's a whole bunch of people here. Oh, just, just. Oh, you're there. Hello, Koth. Didn't realize you were right there. Church, I'm attacking you. Stop talking while you're dying. There's no point to it. You're wasting your breath. You might as well just die quicker. Well, actually, you wasting your breath is you dying quicker in theory. Yeah. There we go. Hey, Koth. Arkin locked down the whole network. He controls turbo lifts, blast doors, docking clamps, you name it. We need the main override station. That's on top of the control spar. I sent HK to clear a path. Accommodation. I have left you a trail of meat bags to follow, Master. I'm securing all doors to the control spar. No more meat. <laughs> Reinforcements will get in, but someone has to hold this choke point. That's my job. Senya's busy with Valen at the gravestone. It's up to you and Koth. Valen's at the ship. My crew. Ah. Uh. I can reach the override station alone if I have to. Everything depends on freeing the gravestone. She's right. Let's go. I'm not heartless, man. Well, I am, but not that much. Granatoko, not me, I should say. T 
take a shuttle to the control spa. Please tell me. I oh, okay, good. I don't have to go far. Uh, although, skip. Defeat the walker. Oh joy! Yeah, I can see that. Thanks for noticing. No one hit him. Right, that's you down, something I can't use, and let's take our shuttle to the control spa. Why do you always get to drive? Emperor Valkorian talks to you, right? He have any advice? <laughs> He's giving me Doubt the it. silent treatment. He's probably got a lot on your mind. Ha the ha! The Emperor's a great man. If anyone can help you take down Arkin, it's him. His power comes at a high price. I won't be in debt to him. That's can be paid. Do what's best for the galaxy. If it means destroying the galaxy? Reminder, the gravestone remains under siege. I can see that. Thanks, HK. Thanks for pointing out the obvious for about the thousandth time. You're free from your father's control. You don't have to serve Arkin. You can stop this mad war. We didn't follow you when you left, father. Why would we listen to you now? No rush, don't worry, you just walk to your destination, don't worry. The main override control station's just ahead. Whatever happens, I want you to know, it's an honor to fight alongside you. Just do your part, and keep staying out of my way. Inspiring words. Really. Indeed. Let's find that droid. He's not just any droid, he's HK! Oh! A gonk droid! <laughs> just managed to skip fighting them. That's nice. Uh, defeats are cool invaders. I'm guessing you're the cool invader. Enough, oh no, I get the feeling I bugged the game! Oh no, oh no, that's fine. I was worried it might have bugged the game then because they were still acting as be uh, attacking me on my map. So, you know, how well would that have gone down? I might have had to have killed myself otherwise. Wouldn't mind a challenge now and then. There's a whole battalion of Supreme Knights headed your way. They're onto our plan. Still can't find Arkin on the security grid. He's vanished. Maybe he's in the vents. Me and HK will handle those knights. Whatever it takes, get the gravestone flying. Be ready to run when I give the word. Don't get reckless. Me? Never. The droid? No promises. Oh, I don't doubt him. Commentary. I am programmed for self-restraint. Usually. We'll get this done. You do the same. Ha! 
<laughs> I've got to love an ambush. Training was unorthodox, to say the least. Those knights don't know how to defend against him and HK. Something tells me they're going to make a great team. And I think for now, that is where we will leave the episode. So, I believe we're nearing the end. We've still got one more chapter to go. But, you know, I think this is the penultimate battle of Knights of the Fallen Empire for now beginning. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you in the next episode. And a farewell to you.